All right, at this point, I hope you're trying these uh, on your own. They're all just variations on the uh, same theme here. But if you want to watch me uh, solve the rest of them, you are more than welcome to. Um, so here we are on number three. And uh, number three, it looks like it is like problem number one. You will notice that all of these percentages, if you add them up, add up to 100% already. We are not over 100%. So this is really just a matter of going through the math. Now, there was one slight little wrinkle here that we left off of the other ones. In the other ones, we just kept it to nice, even whole numbers. Isotope 10 as a mass of 10, isotope 11 as a mass of 11. Each of these isotopes were 90, 91, 92, and they were their nice whole numbers. In reality, they don't have those masses. In reality, germanium 70, for example, doesn't weigh 70. It weighs 69.9243. Why? It's because of the fractional uh, amounts of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and all that kind of stuff. Really not important. Uh, just suffice it to say that they may give you more hyper-specific masses than the rounded uh, decimal or the, the rounded whole numbers that you would see um, in, in a convenient format. So if they tell you that you have germanium 70 and then they give you this really annoying number behind it that's really, really close to 70, don't use 70. Use the 69.9243. When you go to do germanium 72 here, don't use 72, use the 71.9217. Clearly, that's what it is that they want you uh, to do. So, if that's the case, <coughs> then all it does is make it so that <coughs> we have slightly uh, more work to do as far as the calculator is concerned. So, here we are. This guy here is the uh, germanium 70, which is this guy here. So all I got to then do is make sure I get the correct numbers. So this is 69.9243, and apparently it has an abundance of 20.5%. So that would be 0.205. And if I've done my math right on this, that would be 14.33 for its fraction. All right. Next up is this guy here, which is this guy here. So consequently, we've got a mass of 71.9217 and an abundance of 0.274 because that's what its percentage is, 27.4%. Assuming I have done my math right, this is 19.71. <clears throat> Our next one is this guy here, number 73, which is this guy here. So that's 7.8% at that amount. So that's 72.9234. Remember, you have to move the decimal place twice, so that would make it 0 0.078. Going to end up with the wrong number if you don't decimalize it appropriately. So that's 569 that's there. Working our way through for this guy here. We've got 73.9219, and that would be this guy here, which is 36.5%, so that would be 0.365, so that would be 26.98 plus tax. And finally, our last one here, which is that guy there, which is that guy there. So that's going to be 75.9214, at, again, 0 0.078. Don't forget to move that decimal place twice. Assuming I've done my math right, that's 592. That's each of the isotopes. Now we add them all up to get our total weighted average, and we end up with 72.63.